So they're underway. In this men's scratch 60 laps. So lots more action happening on tonight. We also have the women's elimination. We have the men's elimination also. We've also got the women's sprint final later on. So of course the scratch is a part of the Omnion four different events over the next day. And part of this of course will be the tempo, the elimination and the points race. So the scratch race of course and there within the field there'll be some strong sprinters and there'll be some strong endurance athletes as well so the endurance riders will certainly be looking to push the pace a little bit at the start to make sure that the sprinters are not conserving too much energy but of course track cycling three main families of course the sprint events the endurance events and the omnion which is a combination of the two So for the scratch you'll see cyclists changing positions, of course minimizing a drag, drafting behind is always helpful to save and conserve energy. So typically when they get to the bends you'll see changing positions. So the Changkwano Velodrome is obviously a purpose-built indoor track cycling stadium. So it was completed in 2013. In 2016 they hosted the World Cup. 2017 World Champions Championship. And at the time they spent 1.1 billion Hong Kong dollars to get this stadium up and running. They have, of course, had other events. A purpose built a tennis court in the inside, 2014, had Leighton Hewitt, Thomas Burdich, Sam Stosa, and Lina all played the, a match here with the, the tennis court in the middle and the stadium and the crowds on the outside. So this one, a 3,000 seat stadium. A great investment for Hong Kong cycling, of course. So, some of the athletes, of course, Sarah Lee included one of Hong Kong's most successful athletes. She is one of only three Hong Kong athletes that have won any kind of medal at the Olympics. 2012, she won a bronze at London for the Kirin. 
so we will certainly look for her this evening to she'll be in the team of the individual sprint final the Kieran will occur tomorrow but some of the athletes with Sarah Lee included have not competed in an international event for more than a year so always good for them to get some international competition as they head towards the Tokyo Olympics in a, the end of July So, quarter of the way through for the scratch race, 60 laps in total, 20 down. So of course the women's and the men's scratch men's 60 laps or 15 kilometers and the, men, the women 40 laps or 10 kilometers so the placings that they have at the end of this will of course see them through uh, the points for the Omnium So two riders dropped off the pace a little bit. Okay, so the main pack is starting to increase the pace a little bit. They're almost approaching the halfway mark. So, Kornavos from Latvia and Sim from Singapore have been lapped by the main pack. So, halfway to go. So of course in the scratch, if you end up being lapped by the pack, you unfortunately need to leave the track. So 
Sim from Singapore, Kornavas from Latvia have uh, decided to have an early night. Leave seven left. And we had To from Hong Kong who did not start. So seven left in uh, less than uh, half and 27 laps to go. So of course part of the track cycling events, there's 10 different events here in Hong Kong, some of the athletes competing in three or four different events depending if they're a sprint specialist or an endurance specialist. <laughs> So you see them change change positions every now and then as they try and conserve their energy for the final sprint. We saw in the women's scratch uh, it was around about three more laps to go. And Sharakova from uh, Belarus, she really pushed out. Uh, with three laps to go and the pack couldn't couldn't catch her so it's an always a, a perhaps a tactical move when you want to push when you need to stay behind So the riders are approaching a third of the way to go, 20 laps, done 40 already. So slowly picking up the pace now, of course, we said before, endurance riders, they really want to keep the pace high. They probably know who the sprinters are in the field because we don't want the sprinters to conserve any of their energy for the last couple of laps. Otherwise, the endurance riders will have no chance if it comes to a final sprint. So the final 14 laps, and typically with around 10 laps to go, they start making some strategic moves. Of course, those typically that are in the front are the ones that have to expend the most energy. The resistance is the greatest. So dragging in behind certainly is helpful so track cycling of course has been part of the Olympic has been an Olympic event for many many years 
絲咧，丹麥咧、西班牙、日本咧，都係拉住一條直線，咁啊變相咧就瓦解咗咧，就啱啱德國運動員咧做出嚟嘅特位。In fact, 1896 was the first time it appeared. The only time it hasn't was in 1912. Changed to indoors in 1976. Of course, the main nations were Germany, France, and Italy. Since then, Britain and Australia, since around 2014, have been some of the stronger nations. Since 2008, Britain has won 20 out of 30 of the Olympic gold medals. So, we've seen a really strong showing for Britain at perhaps this year's Olympics. So, we're seeing Belarus make a bit of a move. Karoliok. He's driving out, but I think he's going to be caught by the main pack. But perhaps that's part of his strategy. So Roman Gladys from Ukraine. Perhaps that's part of his strategy to expend some of the energy of some of the sprinters. As they try and catch him, coming with six laps to go. Can he continue to reserve some of his energy after that big push? Big push here. Now, from Germany. Now correct, he's really giving it a big go now. Three left to go. This is where in the women's. Sharakova from Belarus made her move. So, now correct. From Germany, looks like he's doing the same. Can he sustain this? Karolok from Belarus coming in close second. Looks like he's going to track him down. So one more left to go. Let's see if Malkarek can hold on. A big push there from Karolok. With half a left to go. Looks like he's going to finish. And one, two. Japan at number three, Kobioki. So, yeah, as you see there, Karolioki traced them down. Malchareki with about three laps to go. He made his big push, but Karolioki really tracked them down in the last lap and a half. So we saw Roman Gladys from Ukraine, he made a big move with about nine laps to go, maybe a little bit too early. But Kareliak from Belarus, he played that one to perfection, he let Malcharak head out there with about three laps to go and he soon chased him down. So. That's where Melcharek thought he'd make his move with about three laps to go. Had a look around. And then Karolioki just chased him down in that last lap. And then the last half really put him away. Gotta be happy with that win. So part of these points, of course, will head towards the Omnium. They've got three more events to go over the next day. So plenty of rest, but the tempo, the elimination and the points race also. So Singapore, Latvia, they 
ended up being lapped in the early start stages of the scratch race but 